Hello everyone, this is Amira from Amira's Beauty Channel. Thank you for tuning into my video and welcome back to my channel. I did a very small haul, well, very small order from Selfridges recently. They had a 20% off sale going on and I decided to pick up the one palette that had not arrived in my Pat McGrath um, haul. I was very sad about that. The last major sale I had placed an order for this palette and it never arrived because it went out of stock so they apologized but um, it's still out of stock on their website on the Pat McGrath website. This retails here for $78 I think and on sale on Selfridge's website this was for $69 I think. Anyway, so this was a good price, I thought. And then the other thing I picked up, which was also on sale, was the Sue Q Blush Palette 2. I think, yes, this is 102. The first one was called 101, which I have right here to show you guys both of them. If you haven't seen the video for this one, um, I will link it here in the iCards. Make sure you have a look at my Sue Q haul as well from Selfridges. Anyway... So, uh, I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow palette first, and then I'll do the two blush palettes. This palette is called the Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Eyeshadow Palette. And to my understanding, it has two palettes included in one here. The two palettes from the Star Wars collection that had come out from Pat McGrath, I did not pick up anything from that collection, so I'm okay. But if you already have those two palettes, you might want to watch this video because uh, there will be a lot of dupes for you then because two of the palettes are included in this. Let's get started with the swatches and close-ups. All right, so this is the outer packaging. It's actually cardboard. It is not the usual plastic packaging. The back has the actual names written on it, which is a nice change. Usually there is a card in the box with the names of the shadows written, but on this box, uh, I think they kind of um, reduced the packaging or put, put less money into the packaging uh, in this palette so they could give us more shadows, I'm thinking. Anyway, so this is the back with all the names written. This is made in the USA, by the way. This is the front. It has the same logo. You can feel it. And this is the name right here, which is kind of hard to read. Here we go. There is this ribbon here that helps keep it standing, but I don't really like that ribbon. I like a palette that I can lay down flat. Anyway, so here is what this palette looks like. Let me give you guys a close up. So my understanding is this right here is one of the Star Wars palettes. And then this right here is one of the Star Wars palettes. I could be wrong. You can correct me in the comments, but I think this is all new shades. I'll do some more research before I post this video anyway, and I will pop up the two palettes I'm referring to if I can find photos online for you guys to show you what I mean. I don't have any of these shades, so it works out really well for me. I'm going to start doing the swatches now. I do not remember the names of the shades, so I will just go row by row. So I'll start with the top row, second row, and then the third row. I'm not sure I'll be able to, you know, fit everything on my arm, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, very pigmented. Wow, the pigmentation is amazing. Right, next four shades. Wow. 
I would actually use fingertips to apply these shimmery shadows, the metallic shimmery shadows. They all, they're applying really nicely. There's no way I'm going to be able to fit everything on this arm, so I will have to stop in the middle, go and wash my hands off, and wipe, my, wipe clean my arm and be back again. But for now, we do have some more space. <laughs> So from what I have, it looks like this purple here, which is this one, has a black base to it. And that olive green is so pretty. So here is the first set of swatches. Alright, moving on, I will just do the last row. I know I, I did this in the last set of swatches, but I'll include this one in this um, set of swatches too. I have a nice clean arm and nice clean fingers. Wow, this is very powdery, it's, there's a lot of kick up. Here we go. This one kind of keeps shifting, and this one has a very dark base. Another dark purpley base. A well, purple one has a black base. And then the last two. All right. So there's that. That's all the swatches. I will include a clip so that we can see everything on the same screen at the same time here. All right, so this is done. I am gonna move on to the Suku, Suku blush palettes. So, these are both of them here, and I'm just going to show them side by side here. This is the new one that just came. This is the first one. They've only had two blush palettes to my knowledge, 101 and 102. This is the first one. And I've already done swatches of this one in another video. So I'm just going to put this aside for now. Here is the new one that just came. This is 102. Currently, it's on sale on Selfridges. If you're interested, go and pick it up as soon as possible. If you have their global shipping um, thing signed up for, I have signed up for it, so I get... Uh, I've paid $55 for a year, and all my shipping is free from UK to here in the US. I can, there's no minimum. So I'm gonna just swatch these for you guys. These, by the way, are made in Japan. It's called the Suku Powder Blush Compact. There is 16.5 grams or 0.57 ounces of product in total. It's the exact same as their 101. I really like this palette. This one is one of my favorites. 
it is um, I've the first one I've used quite a bit I love the formula I think I'm gonna love this one too it's a bit deeper here it goes I'm gonna do just the blushes first Let's see if they show up really well. Let me try it again. These are very, very softly milled blushes and they show up very nicely on the cheeks. It's difficult to swatch them though. So these are the three matte blushes. Next, I'll do the highlighters. I do like their highlighters quite a bit too. I really enjoyed the highlighters in the first one. This is very dark to be a highlighter for me. I can use this as an eyeshadow, I'm thinking. But yeah. All right, I hope this was useful. I hope it helps you decide if you want this or not. I would, if, I will, if you were wanting to get this blush palette, I would jump on it right now to pick it up as soon as possible because I can't find the first one. I think the first one might be available um, at, I think the first one might be available at Harrods. I'm not sure, but Herod's shipping is outrageous um, for the U.S. I, unless you are placing one big, huge order through them, it's like $30 per, per order. <laughs> anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in picking any of these up, I would hurry up because these are all limited edition items. The Pat McGrath... Um, the Pat McGrath eye palette is also kind of difficult to find right now, so I was very excited when I saw this and picked it up immediately. Anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and um, comment in the, in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, until next time, this is Amira signing off. Bye now.